You know who your mother is. And I know you got to love your mother no matter what. But it's just, I just. We're the ones losing. We're the ones losing. Us, the black men, we're the one, young black men, we're the ones losing because of this never dying love. For a nothing ass bitch. I had to get off his ass. I had to get off my ass. I had to get to the cash. I had to stick to the plan. I had to quit taking Xanax. I had to quit popping Percocet. I had to get off the codeine. I had to quit the promethazine. I had to do it. Leeches lurk to lap up my love until it's no harbor, no starter. I get out to push, I'm thinking, go farther. Can't get up that hill, I wanna quit, just thinking, go harder. But here I stand, I'm all alone, just a broke artist, holding hope harder than my brother, hold his daughter. Boy, that's love regardless. Ain't no silver lining in this darkness. Trying to give y'all food for thought for y'all soul, but I'm starving. I'm searching, blind as hell while my vibe works. But still I heard the cry from your idol eyes. Said, I'm hurting. I went to reach for your tears. My hands stopped by my fears. The inhibitions in my mind in a field. I'm undeserving of love. Feeling so worthless because all of the pain that I would cause are those that always showed up. It's only right that you leave. All by my loan I should be. So I can wash away this pain before I start drowning that sea. Lie. Lie from inside. You feel me? <laughs> This is $10,000 cash, all $100 bills, and I want to invite you to a free training that shows you how I went from $10 an hour to $10,000 a month with my online business. Text CASH to 301-273-1238. I'll see you on the inside. Welcome back to the Big Fast Podcast. I'm El Conseco. Fearless lead of AL Nation, and this is Are You Fucking Serious? As in YNW Melon. Also, I'm the leader of uh, the Men Too movement. If you have not signed the Men Too petition, I'm going to have to assume at this point that you're either new or you just don't, you just don't, you just don't give a fuck. And I, I'm going to tell you this. If you ain't signed that goddamn petition and something, I'm going to say it again. If you ain't signed that motherfucking petition and something end up happening to you concerning the bitch and shit like that, my nigga, you ain't going to get no motherfucking aid from uh, me or my platform, my followers. And that's a motherfucking guarantee. <clears throat> YNW Melly killed his homeboy because his homeboy was fu was a bully. Uh, come to find out, uh, YNW Sack Chaser used to bully YNW Melly. He he was the real, just like with anything, he was the real gangster. Uh, he was the real bully. He was the real deal. Just like with any rapper and shit like that. The rapper is not the actual street nigga. 50 Cent wasn't the real 50 Cent. Rick Ross wasn't the real Rick Ross and shit like that. Um, it's usually the motherfucker that's standing next to the rapper. Like, all rappers. It, how can I, um, rapping is a sport. Let's Let's break it down. Rapping is a sport, okay? In order to be a rapper, it's like a, it's like a team sport. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the rapper would be like the quarterback, but the goon, the actual goon, would be like the center. You know what I'm saying? That's the motherfucker who gonna guard the quarterback while he do his thing and shit like that. I, right. so, of course, as a rapper the best center that you can get, the best goon would be the goon that's in your city. That's why, you know what I'm saying, with uh, uh, 21 Savage, you know, that, that Travis James shit, whatever like that, you know what I'm saying, with the Migos, C-O-P. Like, there, there's always, uh, with Cash Money, Baby, or, or Slim, like, they had gangsters around them that did not rap with Boosie, uh, with, uh, Marlo Mike, what was the nigga name, uh, that told in the end, but he was the nigga who was whacking niggas and shit like that. It's not the rapper that's the gangster, it's the nigga behind him because you need him to be in front of you to make sure nobody fuck you over and shit like that. Same shit with this right here. The fucked up part about it is sometimes 
the only goon that you can get to play center for you is a motherfucker that was bullying you. This motherfucker was terrorizing the city, had respect all over the city, but he didn't show you no motherfucking respect because you was no one to respect. And in this situation, he didn't even respect YNW Melly's mother. And I want to speak on that before anything. What do we have here? What do we have here? What, what, what just happened in this situation? How many niggas are dead? How many niggas are dead behind a nothing ass bitch that I thought that I had fucked in Pensacola? And, and a shout out to that nigga who said the blue ball. And um, I forgot the other goddamn Seville. Um, God damn, how the fuck I'm uh? It wasn't a platinum club, dog. Nigga just told me. But whatever the fuck that club was, dog, in Pensacola, I thought I fucked that hoe, dog. You know what I'm saying? But that was that was a bad light. It was a bad light because I seen a picture. Without, you know what I'm saying, the, you know what I'm saying, the graphic design and shit like that. And this hoe was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Even though that hoe could have tricked me in the club, but I didn't fuck this hoe in Pensacola in the club. You know what I'm saying? Like, we went, you know what I'm saying, to a hotel or some shit like that. Just some nothing ass hoe shit. But because you a nothing ass bitch and you out here in the streets fucking niggas that show son age. This nigga YNW sack chaser then had the opportunity to pull a gun on you and your homegirl. And this is what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, is saying what, what actually happened. So the nigga YNW uh, sack chaser bullet, um, little Melly bullet goddamn, uh, Melly mama just bullying everybody and shit like that. And YNW Melly had a plan. Not only am I going to use this nigga as my goon, I'm going to put this nigga in harm's way because I'm killing two birds with one stone. I got my center and I'm getting this nigga, I'm getting, I'm getting my revenge. If a nigga do something to your mama, I don't give a fuck how much of a hoe you are, that shit do something to you. And you going to want motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, vengeance for that shit. And as a bully, what happens is... You become too arrogant because he was probably raised by a nothing ass bitch also. You know what I'm saying? And this is where it all, this is the source of it all. You're bullying everybody. You just rampaging and shit like that. And you're not thinking that a nigga, this whole ass nigga could ever fuck you over. So you play the nigga weak. I think it's in the 48 Laws of Power to where you you want your enemy to underestimate you, befriend your enemy even. You know what I'm saying? To where they feel comfortable, not relaxed. Niggas taking bars and doing drugs all around you and shit like that. You can fuck a nigga over plenty of ways. I think if Melly wanted this nigga dead like that, he could have did it in a lot more... He could have did it a lot more snakishly, but... I think that he actually wanted to feel this nigga's life leaving his body, you know what I'm saying, by his own hands. I, After you find out this information that YNW Sack Chaser actually fucked over YNW Melly's mother, not as far as I was fucking a hoe and I, I took the car and ain't bring it back, but actually violently fucked her over. Those are along the same lines of a nigga beating up your mama, a nigga raping your mama in your mind. So now I can understand why you kill a nigga. All good. No, I, I have no issue with that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, fuck over your mama. But I don't know why the other nigga needed to die and shit like that. Maybe he was on, along the same lines and shit like that. But a nigga, the nigga Melly doesn't just get off that easy on no shit. Um, because of, let's talk about it. I, I, but I don't know, like, because I want to say he did it in a retarded way, in a retarded fashion. Um, he could have did it a lot smarter. But then, again, when we doing street shit, we always believe that we're doing it in a way that we won't get caught. And actually, he got off, he got away with this shit for a longer period of time than most niggas would have. 
You know what I'm saying? Most niggas would have killed the nigga just as soon as they found out. They wouldn't even had the sense to befriend a nigga so the nigga couldn't run every time you seen the motherfucker so you could, you know what I'm saying, wet the nigga down. So the nigga did some smart shit by, like, can you imagine how horrible that had to feel when your mama called, you got all this money and shit like that, your mama called, and then a, the nigga who violated her is in the car. She, these hoes don't forgive. She not forgiving that shit. So as soon as you on FaceTime with her and shit like that, and she see him, her face frown up. You know what I'm saying? And she's such, such an, like she's a ghetto hood rat, nothing ass bitch. So of course she wanna, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? She wanna whoop and shit like that, but she not gonna do nothing. And that make Melly feel like a whole ass nigga. Like I'm riding around with a nigga who violated my mama, and I can't do shit to him. I'm telling my close friend that. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. I don't know what the other Y&W nigga name was, whatever like that. But I'm telling him how this nigga, you know what I'm saying? His time is coming on some uh, Alpo shit. Rich and, like, rich and Alpo shit. Like, this nigga, or, like, this nigga gonna die. And I guess that's, that's how, and maybe he told his mama. You know what I'm saying? It actually made his mother um, an accessory before and after the fact. She knew what was gonna happen. Um, cause that's the only way he could qualm her as she was getting on him. Like, what kind of nigga you is? Because nowadays, the mother-son dynamic is more of a boyfriend-girlfriend dynamic. You listen to a mother and a son talk nowadays and you would think they go together. Mama tell him, little boy, why the fuck you riding around with that fuck nigga? It fuck nigga, you know what I'm saying? All that, like, what the fuck? You should be telling me to, you know, do good and, and you know what I'm saying? Why you got all these tattoos and shit like that? Every time I go to get a tattoo, you ask me why the fuck I ain't getting you one. You telling me what kind of fucking car I need to get on some, you need to flex on these fuck niggas. And that's why your son is about to do life. You know what I'm saying? I hope you happy. But you don't give a fuck because you can just have another one. You killed your son. You should have never been in a situation where that YNW sad chaser could do that to you and not have any legal repercussions. Obviously, you were doing something you had no fucking business. Why the fuck are you so deep into the streets like this? And for all my other mothers out here that are attempting to be a friend to their child, Understand, this is the outcome. Now you can go visit your child every other week. You know what I'm saying? Help him get conjugal visits. And then when the money get low, because that was that was your only fucking ticket. And just like I tell motherfuckers, y'all, because y'all are so fucking retarded, the paperwork wasn't done right. So as he goes to jail and his and his uh, streaming numbers and all that shit go up for a little while because he'll be forgotten in a couple years and nobody give a fuck. But as his streaming numbers go up, you won't get a dime of that money. Where's the label? He just did a song with Kanye West. What do you think is going to happen now? Nothing. It's over. They're cutting their losses. Huh? Too bad. Because they know they can't beat the case. If YNW Melly had a case, he would be out of jail right now. The lawyers for the label have looked at the case and decided, oh no, we can't touch this. We're going to lose. And told the label he's going to have to do at least 12, 10 years before he's even up for parole. The label says, oh, we're going to cut our losses. If he can't get out now, we don't give a fuck. If we can't milk him now, we don't give a fuck. Because they know in 10 years, YNW Melly means nothing. Nothing. So now you get a realistic view of how motherfuckers see you. It was all friend and holla. Oh, we got Kanye West for you, bro. All that shit. It was all good. And see, to me it's entrapment because... 
it, it's not, but it's entrapping because the label, look, Cardi B, let's take her for example. They're treating her so well right now. She's the lawyers that she has, the people that she has access to, make her feel it's the same thing when I told y'all about getting stopped by a police officer and motherfucker, oh my God, and let you go. That happens so much that you feel like you're the mayor of the city. You know what I'm saying? The mayor is actually asking you for favors. Hey, could you come to this event so we can show, because they're trying to get elected, they're trying to get the black vote. You know what I'm saying? And you hold that type of power and influence. You understand? But just as soon as you no longer hold that, now you're starting to get tickets. Now when you try to call the mayor's office, they, they send you to a secretary and you're on hold all day. You can't call the mayor's personal phone anymore. So don't get confused when you see all of these people smiling in your face. They're smiling because you're making them money. Look at how they treat an artist who's good, but isn't making them any money. Look at how they treat that motherfucking artist. And you can get a real perspective of how they feel about you because they don't see you as a person. They see you as a dollar sign. And this is why I feel it's entrapping because you get so arrogant off of that that you start making up murder plots. You thought that you were really going to go frame a, 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 a murder scene and it's all love. Oh, man, they going to get me out. Me and all the bond it ain't shit. There's no bond. So now you up in you up in a holding tank like this. You know you got your fucking arms in your shirt and shit like that because you're not built for this shit. You've been to juvie and shit like that. You've been to the playhouse, but you, you ain't built for this shit. When you don't know how your life finna turn out, fuck the next six months. You don't know how your life finna turn out. So now, <laughs> as I said before, the only true victim here. Is the uh, the motherfucker that, that his co-defendant? Because if that co-defendant don't watch out, um, YNW Melly be then got some information from the label, and they they didn't told YNW Melly, hey man, go ahead and tell on him. We'll spin the shit. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and tell on him and come on out. I'm sure they've already talked about this shit. Like blame it on the other dude. Like he's not the money maker. You're the money maker. You'll take care of him in prison. He'll be home in five years. All kind of shit. I'm sure they've already done that shit. Because as far as business, it is the smartest thing to do. Because if Melly goes to jail, there's no more money. If the other co-defendant goes to jail, there's still money flowing in and shit like that. And it's all love. But he got a double fucking homicide. Maybe they can work something out. And maybe they will work something out. No guarantees. So he'd have to have a lot of trust in YNW Melly to actually take this charge for him. So I'm not sure about that. But like I said, the main thing about this shit is you bitches and your children and the way you use them. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm forever puzzled at how you hoes. Like, why the fuck won't you be honest with your child? Why won't you be honest with your child? I guess, why Why would you? Why would you? It's not something that you nothing ass bitches do. Like, let me talk to my children. Maybe I can talk to the children in. Look, if you know if your mother is worth anything, if she, you know what I'm saying, can't stop doing drugs and shit like that, like, she can't keep a man, she brings men back after they steal from you and shit like that, Whenever her car breaks down, she got to go get her daddy call, uh, her, her auntie call, some shit like this. Scared as fuck that somebody might call down to her job and, and call in a drug test because then she'll lose everything. You know who your mother is. And I know you got to love your mother no matter what, but it's just, I just... We're the ones losing. We're the ones losing. 
us, the black men, we're the one, young black men, we're the ones losing because of this never dying love. For a nothing ass bitch. So now my new advice is this. If you have if you have someone who is extremely faithful, dedicated cannot let go of a nothing ass bitch. I don't give a fuck what relation she is. Girlfriend, auntie, mother, if they will have an undying love and commitment to a nothing ass bitch, you need to cut them off. You don't want to be connected to a nothing ass bitch at no fucking cost. Man, I'm t I'm talk listen to me. If your daughter, son, time after time continues to show this towards the mother I'm telling you to cut your ties I'm telling you to have another child with uh don't just go out there and have a child with anybody I'm telling you to cut your fucking losses because it's not going to bring you anything but heartache and pain trust me trust me When you look at the worst things that were done to you in your life, you're going to, when you go to the source of it, it's going to be a nothing ass bitch at the end of that line. You may not see it now. Let it continue to happen. But how much more are you going to lose because of your or your loved one's undying commitment and faithfulness to a nothing ass bitch. As Y and W Melly. That's all I can say. It's a big fast podcast. Make sure you hit the PayPal. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.